Hi, welcome back to the second video in Autonomous or Robot Vehicles. We're teaching you some basic skills so that you can design any type of pod to go on top of your robot base, even one that flies. We looked in the first tutorial at the Australian team designing this fantastic robot base, the blank, and anything can be plugged on top. We showed you how to draw a very simple base and, um, and then add something on top of that. So grab your drawings and let's get started. We're measuring one and a half centimeters or 15 millimeters up from each of the corners and then join those dots together using a ruler. Try to keep these lines really, really light because we'll be erasing some of them later. It'll make it much easier. Now we're going to draw some vertical or straight up and down lines to connect those. We have kind of a block on top. If I measure three centimeters back from that corner and three centimeters forward from that far corner, it gives me another two dots and I'm going to join those together. And at the front, let's do the same. The dots on the bottom were originally when we divided that line into three even splat lengths. So I've got a little bit of erasing to do there. I'm transferring that point across to the far edge using the splat angle. Let's do the same thing there. Transfer it across and then erase what's in between. That's looking great. There's one more point to transfer across. Take a look at the wheels on the far side of the base. Notice how they're almost entirely covered. Now let's have a look at our drawing. We may need to erase a few more lines, like the wheels that are hidden on the far side. After erasing, you may well need to redraw a few of the lines on your drawing. So a few little fix-ups here. And there's something else we need to erase. That part of the tire will be hidden once we make the tire thicker. Have a look at this wheel. It's only half an ellipse at the back. Line up your ellipse. And on that edge, place your pencil roughly in the middle and we're sliding it forwards. We're sliding it to that point in the center. That's how it looks. Let's place the pencil there, slide it down, and then draw the full ellipse this time. We'll connect them together and we have a wheel. Excellent. Let's try again at the front. Line up the ellipse, pencil on the opposite edge, slide forwards to the center mark and draw the full ellipse. Connect. Next we draw the inside of the tire. We're drawing another ellipse just inside. Cool, now we're going to draw the rim. We're using the small ellipse. Line it up on that angle. Make sure it just touches that line. Keep it on the same angle and draw in the rim. Try again at the front. Great, there's our wheels complete. A wheel has a tire on a rim. Next, we're adding a line just underneath the base to give it some thickness. If you managed to get all the way up to here, congratulations, you've finished drawing the robot base. <coughs> but there are a few extensions. Have a look how wide it gets in the middle. Well, let's have a go at that. You're going to need to erase some of your drawing and we're going to extend a line forwards on the splat angle and back. Let's do the same thing from that point, splat angle, and then connect those together. Let's give that some thickness by dropping a line down at both of those corners, connect, and bounce that line around the corner. Great, we just need one line at the back. Next challenge, Look at the front. It has two corners. It looks like a block. But on this image, the corners are missing. Let's have a go at 
removing those sharp corners. I'm drawing a line and then dropping two verticals down until it touches the bottom line. Copy that line to complete the bottom there. Here I'm redrawing to tidy that up a little bit. And I'd use a, a sharp pencil with a firm line unless you have some thin bond paper that you can place over the top and trace it off. Trace it off neatly and if you're really confident you might have a go at using a felt tip marker. This is like a 0.4 felt tip. And if you can't see through your paper to trace it you could always stick it on a window and then place your blank paper over the top and you'll be able to see your lines come through underneath. It really takes a lot of experience to be able to use the felt tip because if you make a mistake you have to start again. Here's an easy way to draw the wheels on the far side. First we take the splat and we line it up carefully with the front wheel. Then place a ruler along the edge and slide the splat until the ellipse is just over the far side and then draw in line up the ellipse slide and then draw in part of the wheel on the other side. Now that you've finished drawing or designing your robot base then it's time to render or shade. Choose any colour and go lightly all the way through. Uh, you don't need to know the rules of rendering so much. To get started, just remember, put some light next to dark surfaces. That gives you a really contrasty finish. Um, for interest, I'm uh, putting some dark at the back and then fading forwards. Any surfaces facing the right hand side, I've gone through and darkened up as well as right around the outside. Cool. Um, now my my pen outline doesn't look so dark anymore that I've colored it gray so I'm just beefing that up a little bit with a 0.6. I'm working my way carefully around the outside. The wheels have their own line all the way around because they're a separate component. And now the tires will need to be a darker color again. Next I'm cutting out my rendering as carefully as I can and I'm going to stick that down with some glue stick onto a nice fresh background. In the third tutorial let's draw a flying pod that could lift off from your robot base and take you to wherever you want it to go. It's no harder than drawing a cube and some cylinders. I'm Glennie D, so cool drawing with you today. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon.